Terrence Howard is speaking out on the alleged Hollywood agenda to make black men more feminine, and his comments have completely divided the internet. You can't take the vertebrae out of your back just to fit inside of someone's ceiling. Mm -hmm. You have to stand up full and proud, stand up erect. You know what I mean? There's a popular theory among fans and some celebs that the entertainment industry is deliberately portraying black men as weak and effeminate. People like Dave Chappelle and Cat Williams have previously claimed that black actors and comedians have to wear a dress on screen before they can make it big in Hollywood. And now Terrence is saying that if you really want to get to the top, you have to be effeminate because strong black men are seen as a threat. But is this a conspiracy theory or is Terrence onto something? This is stuff you've got to watch. See, that's why you got to clear this stuff up. You've got to watch the stuff that they put out there. You know, because they're just trying to make money. Mm -hmm. Iron Man and Empire star Terrence Howard has always been a controversial figure whose personal life often overshadowed his acting work. Terrence first drew public backlash in 2001 when he was arrested for a number of charges related to an attack on his first wife. And then in 2011, his second ex-wife, Michelle Gent, filed for a restraining order accusing Terrence of DV. Terrence later admitted that he was physically aggressive with his ex-wife, telling Rolling Stone in 2015, she was talking to me real strong and I lost my mind and slapped her in front of the kids. However, as is often the case in Hollywood, the DV didn't stop Terrence from getting movie roles. Since 2015, Terrence has starred on the hit TV show Empire and appeared on numerous big screen projects. And though Terrence announced in December 2022 that he was retiring, he returned to acting shortly after and according to his IMDb page, he has six new projects lined up. But despite coming back out of retirement, Terrence is still not happy with the way that Hollywood works. And he recently spoke out on the rumored agenda in the entertainment industry to emasculate black men, and he claims that effeminate men have the most success in Hollywood. Now, this idea that Hollywood forces black men to be more feminine is nothing new, and Terrence is not the only celeb who publicly spoke out about it. Dave Chappelle was one of the first people to suggest that Hollywood has an agenda about forcing black actors and comedians to wear dresses. Following his highly publicized feud with Comedy Central, Dave appeared on The Oprah Show in 2006 to talk about why he turned down a $50 million deal and escaped to Africa. Dave recalled how he was once pressured to wear a dress while filming a movie with Martin Lawrence, and that's when he started connecting the dots. Like, when I, I connect dots that maybe shouldn't be connected, I don't know, but certain dots, like when I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress at some point in their career, I'll be connecting them dots, like, why all these brothers gotta wear a dress? This happened to me. I'm doing a movie with Martin. Yeah. The movie's going good. So I walk in a trailer, I'm like, man, this must be the wrong trailer, because there's a dress in here. <laughs> They come in, it's the writer comes in. I think he's the writer, he's like, Dave, listen, we got this hilarious scene where Martin's sneaking out of jail. So he disguises you as a prostitute. <laughs> and he put this dress on and, it, huh, what, a prostitute? Nah, I'm not doing that. I don't feel comfortable with that. Dave also shared that he told the producers that he was uncomfortable putting on the dress and felt that it was completely unnecessary for the scene. However, the producers brought in the director and they all tried to make it look like he was difficult. That should have been in the discussion. What? You don't feel comfortable with it. I mean, it's a hilarious bit. All the greats have done it. So, well, if all the greats have done it, it's kind of hacky, right? You're right. So why don't we just not do it? Because I don't feel comfortable wearing a dress. Oh, come on, Dave. Listen, we, we got it all set up. We're supposed to shoot. Every every minute your waist costs this much money. You know, the pressure comes in. Huh. He said, I'm, nah, I'm not wearing no dress, man. I'm funnier than a dress. Just give me something funny to say. I don't even wear no dress to be funny. What am I, Milton Burrow? You know, we're going like this. And then finally, he's like, ah. And he, he leaves. And then, like, the director comes, Dave. It really would be great if you wear the dress. What is wrong? What is this? Uh, Brokeback Mountain in here? So. <laughs> <laughs> I wear the, I wear the dress. I don't want to wear the dress. I want to wear this dress. You know what I mean? This is, oh gosh, this guy's so difficult. They leave. Now the producers comes. Come on, David would be so great. I mean, and then I started thinking about it. all the comments that I've seen. Man, you know, strong brothers. Why, why did he put us in these dresses? The producers only gave up once they realized that Dave wouldn't cave in under pressure. And Dave told Oprah that they were clearly prepared for this scenario because they had another version of the script already written in case he said no to the dress. It was clear, I was adamant, I'm not wearing a dress, I'm not wearing the dress. All right, fine, think of something else. That comes back 10 minutes later, the whole new scene, how, damn, how did you write the scene so fast? You know, it's like, so, 
You gotta take a stand. Kevin Hart was later asked to comment on Dave Chappelle's claims about black entertainers being pressured into wearing dresses. And though Kevin didn't explicitly say that he would never put on a dress for a role, he agreed with Dave that you have to take a stand for your principles. And he said he would never do anything that could hurt his brand. Dave Chappelle, another great comedian, said that, you know, in the industry, they tried to make him wear a dress. Have you ever ran into that with, with scripts and, <laughs> and is that something that, you know, you wouldn't do, you know, for? for uh, I definitely haven't ran into to put on the dress. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you have to have, you have to have boundaries. You have to have limits that you refuse to cross. Uh, you know, for me, I know what they are. Uh, they've yet to been challenged. So, you know, I don't have to speak on them. I was asked to dribble a basketball on the talk show this morning. I you look said good no to that. It, <laughs> <laughs> Not that that was a dress, but I was like, no, I'm going to look stupid. You know, at the end of the day, you got to know that you're a brand. Yeah. I'm a brand. Uh, you need to protect your brand at all times. When things happen that can possibly affect your brand, your your brand can be diminished, and and you don't you don't want that to happen. So you know, protecting my brand is is definitely a priority. So when Kevin appeared on SNL wearing a dress a few years later, many fans felt like he sold himself for fame because after the skit, Kevin's career really took off, and he started getting roles in big budget productions and filling out stadiums with his stand up shows. The new pope is nine year old Oscar nominee Kevin <laughs> Wallace. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I, I don't think anyone saw this one coming. The same year Kevin's SNL skit aired, Cat Williams appeared on Black Tree TV to talk about his role in Scary Movie 5. And when asked to comment on the backlash against Kevin, Cat said that the whole thing is much bigger than Kevin Hart because this is something that's been going on in Hollywood for years. Kevin doesn't have to worry about what people are gonna say about him wearing a dress because of the long line of dress wearing people before him. <laughs> so now we have Big Mama's house one, two, and three. Yeah. I've never seen Medea in a pantsuit. I think she wears dresses. So now I'm saying, why are we picking on poor little Kevin Hart? Because it was his turn next. And while some fans dismiss this as just another conspiracy theory, many others pointed out that there were a lot of black actors and comedians in Hollywood who made it big by cross-dressing, citing movies like Big Mama's House, White Chicks, The Nutty Professor, and Norbit. More recently, stars like ASAP Rocky and Jonathan Majors were accused of promoting the rumored emasculation agenda. ASAP received criticism over his Vogue cover with Rihanna and their son, with fans claiming that the photos portrayed ASAP as submissive. As for Jonathan Majors, he posed on the cover of Ebony Magazine back in February, and once again, some fans thought that the photos were emasculated. However, not everyone felt this way, and there were a lot of people who loved both ASAP and Jonathan's covers, claiming that these two are clearly comfortable in their masculinity. One fan tweeted, they called Russell Wilson a square for being a good husband and father. They call out ASAP Rocky for showing love to his family. Now Jonathan Majors ain't man enough because he sat on a pink couch. Meanwhile, the one saying all this would switch places in a heartbeat. And another person wrote, don't put your issues on this man. He's very secure in who he is. Between this cover and Rihanna's Vogue cover, a lot of people are putting their feelings on something that isn't there. But it looks like Terrence Howard is convinced something is there, and he recently spoke out against the perceived emasculation of black men in Hollywood. Terrence was discussing rumors that he was removed from Iron Man 2 for having a hot temper and being difficult on set. And he denied that his temper was the problem, claiming that he was simply behaving how a man is supposed to behave. My daddy taught me never take the vertebrae out of your back or the base out of your throat, Terrence said, I ain't raising sheep, I raised men. Stay a man. He then went on to say, being a man comes with a curse because it's not a society made for men to flourish anymore. Everything is androgynous, you know, Terrence said. The more successful men now are the effeminate. And in another recent interview with Revolt, Terrence once again claimed that Hollywood has an agenda to portray black men as effeminate because strong black men are seen as a threat. The man has been demonized, Terrence said. With the new formula, most men are made to be effeminate and not have their power or sense of strength. They allow white men to be able to be strong, but when it's black men, it's seen as a threat. He continued by saying, I don't want to remove a few chromosomes to fit into someone's story, so I feel they need to expand their stories to allow men to be men and simultaneously appreciate a woman's beauty. But as you can imagine, these comments cause a lot of mixed reactions on the internet. And while some fans are praising Terrence for speaking out against the rumored agenda against black men, others are saying that Terrence is the last person who should be talking about healthy masculinity, considering his long track record of DV against women. Hollywood have been pushing that black male emasculation 
manipulation real hard now, one fan commented. Big shout out to Terrence for being a real one. It's not all about the bag, it's about respect and integrity. Not too many, if any, left like him anymore. Keep standing 10 toes down, bro. However, another fan fired back saying, I'm always bothered by seeing someone like Terrence Howard, a known and admitted abuser, so casually mentioned in the media. We're demonstrating that a man can slap her in front of the kids, his words, and still perform on our screens. Just another one of TV's hot dads. But how do you feel about Terrence's comments on feminine black men being more successful? Comment down below, and we'll see you in our next video.